So the state of New York has been among the most aggressive of the states in trying to protect homeowners from foreclosure. They've granted homeowners all sorts of new legal protections that kind of turn courts into negotiation centers trying to work to keep people in their homes. But guess what? <laughs> the state courts have just been flooded now with foreclosure cases. Um, they're mired in often hopeless cases where homeowners, you know, like bus drivers and grocery clerks, you know, may owe more than $700,000 on a home that they're never going to pay off. So it's one more noble sounding government program to help people out. What happens in the real world with noble sounding government programs to help people out? Government always has limited resources, so it can't give help to everybody who wants help. So the government must ration its help, and the way it does this is by piling up paperwork demands and piling up waiting time. So you can either allow the free market to sort these things out, or if you have government intervention, and the government doles out resources, it will do it by giving it to those who are willing to wait in line the longest and jump through the paperwork and bureaucratic hurdles. So that's like socialized medicine, where you may, in Britain, wait you know, years for, for an operation. Or if you can't afford health insurance here in the United States, you may go to county and, and have to wait all, all day for to see a doctor. So that's the alternative. You either wait in line for hours, days, weeks, months, or years, or you allow the free market to, to work, and those who are willing to pay for the resource will, will get it, and those who can't afford it won't, or will have to rely on charity.